Hello everyone, this is Corona coming at you. Today is, well, the day after tax day if you guys are in um, the U.S. or one of its major territories. And that means, well, you probably got a really good refund or owe a lot of money or somewhere in between. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this series already. You can see it is going to be Night Elf versus Human, Yumiko versus Tho here on Crystal Kingdom 1.3. This is, I believe, a best of three matchup, and I will be casting as many games as I can today. I do have some special things lined up, as I'm sure some of you guys have noticed. I got Heroes of the Storm Alpha. Finally, 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 really looking forward to playing that game and seeing what what all the what all the hype is about now um does that mean i'm gonna stop casting warcraft 3 definitely not i will still be getting as much warcraft 3 goodness to you guys and as quickly as possible as we now already see yumiko setting up a scout farm inside his opponent's base interesting location there that farm is going to be right um, in position to scout out that altar of elders more importantly though it is very difficult to actually build a building right next to that farm and have a tree try and take it out so far we can see that it is going to be a warden against an archmage warden versus archmage you can see down over here ancient of war is currently training up archers as well we should be seeing one archer pop out of there and then begin that ancient of war creeping now so no stranger to Night Elf, and I am very curious as to what strategies we are going to be seeing from the Warden. Solo Warden has become very, very popular as of late. She is a very strong hero. A player's forces are ah, let me adjust my chair. Um, she is a very, very strong hero and can really take down unsuspecting footmen. What the Warden can do as well, the Warden can also team up with a panda for um, Fana Nye's Breath of Fire combinations. Huffing and puffing and spinning your way to victory. Oh, did I... Oh, the Warden did not get the experience on that. The Ancient of War actually got the shot there. And the Warden is significantly behind an experience because of that attack. That was a horrible, horrible loss there as the Warden now sitting only halfway to level 1. Meanwhile, the Archmage and Yumiko almost at level 2. That Wisp going straight for the Water Elemental. However, the Water Elemental able to get away in time. And that, mean, that means that the Archmage actually has a bonus 25 experience as well. Meaning that it will get to level 2 very, very easily. Warden comes in, drops a Sentry Ward. Shadow Strike onto the unit and a beautiful steal by the Warden. Wow, Yumiko unable to secure the kill there. The Warden actually getting the kill. And what is happening next? The Warden actually now going after the Archmage. Archmage now takes a Shadow Strike as well as that Archmage currently sitting at level 1 does not have enough mana for another um, another Water Elemental just quite yet. That Warden is going after that Archmage very heavily. Are we going to see a Blink? We could see a Blink. What's going on? There's the Blink there. And the Archmage now down to 43 hit points. Is it going to be able to get away? The Warden does not have enough mana. Archmage down to 33 hit points. 35. Going to start regenerating some hit points. Aggroing the creeps. And then Shadow Melting. Archmage going to get taken down at level 1 by the creeps. A huge, huge turn of events there as the Warden able to steal that extra bit of experience ended up getting blink by a difference of four experience and it was able to secure the kill on the archmage a beautiful opening here in the first four minutes of the game so far this tho and yumiko matchup looking very strong but you cannot just rely on your early game victories to try and secure the entire win of the war. You can see that the Warden is attempting to take down this town hall. And it is also doing a very good job with the help of all of these archers. The archers with that piercing damage is really, really getting through to the town hall here. The town hall already down to sub 400 hit points. And it is going to go back to sub 3 or a sub of 300 or the 300 something here in just a moment as we are going into double archers. Archmage now making its way over as well. The footman, very low hit point footman now leading the charge. Needs to get turned around. The militia now being brought over as well as this is not that good of a position. 
position. The footmen now still running all the way back here. The archers and the wardens are all just going to come here and shadow meld. And by shadow melding right here, the archmage can't really do anything. The archmage really wants to chase after all these units. But and unbeknownst to him, he is currently just... I'm able to regenerate all those hit points. You see a sentry ward is right there, but Yumiko's really can't do much still. All right, going after the troll trappers now. The troll trappers are taking a bit of damage. Are we going to start seeing some shadow melding here? Yes, shadow melding on all the units. The footmen now taking that damage instead. And what is going on here as we also see the blue drake getting in some easy damage as well. So far, that water elemental is still um, attacking and engaging here. And all of a sudden, the archers could break shadow melt and attempt to engage, getting some additional experience. Okay, what's going to be happening next? All right, attempting to take on the troll trapper. They are actually pulled away from that fountain of health. So this is actually really good news as the warrior is not going to be able to regenerate any hit points. Oh, nope. The warrior now gets within range there. And let's see what's happening next. As you can see, one warrior has gone down. Another warrior could get taken down as well. The Drake, however, is far away. And Yumiko actually is um, unadvertently giving a better creep opportunity to Tho. Tho now trying to engage here. Perhaps going to take down a footman or two. The Shadow Meld not working. When is Tho going to realize that? And I believe he realizes it now. Another archer going to get taken down. This one sentry ward really worth its weight right there taking down so many of these archers and now Yumiko has a huge huge lead there goes another unit there as the archers are now being forced to pull back that is a lot of footmen who are now chasing after all of these archers all right is this archmage going to be able to make it anywhere in time boots of speed staff of teleportation there is the staff of teleportation the archmage going to be able to teleport out with no real issue whatsoever as the footmen are now running away towards that tavern some easy easy damage those archers do deal a lot of damage but now with defend reflecting damage from those archers i believe tho is actually in a very very dangerous spot tho cannot continue to rely on this mass archer strategy as the footmen are just going to be taking reduced damage and reflecting much of that attack back all right you can see an ancient of war now currently on the move attempting to take down this scout farm over here the earlier scout farm is still still in position and still doing a good job scouting and seeing that we are nearly at Tree of Ages. Archmage now on the move as well as Yumiko has a huge economic advantage with this additional town hall. And it looks like he is just going to continue to try and ride that economic advantage into the mid game. Archers of the Warden now looking to clear out all of these troll trappers here. We do not see any second hero as Tree of Ages just got done right now. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, that Tree of Ages nearly got done right there. You can see the footmen are now making their way in. And Yumiko is going to absolutely destroy this base. Tho needs to get back there in a hurry. You can see that the Ancient of Wonders was taken down. We are currently training up some um, extra Wisp here as Shadow Strike now onto a Footman. Are these units going to be able to get away in time? It looks like one Footman definitely going to get taken out. There it goes. The rest of the Footman now currently on the run. As you can see, this one low hit point Footman may get Shadow Strike. All right, Huntresses. Joining in on the fight. Are we going to perhaps get a web? No, no web onto Yumiko's. Um, Zeppelin as the Zeppelin is going to start dropping inside the main base. <coughs> Tho is going to be in a bit of trouble. He does have a tree of life currently trying to eat up some trees and stay high on that cell count, not get taken out. But with the Zeppelin just flying overhead, causing problems, he can be dropped and or they can be dropped anywhere and really, really just start destroying things. All right, let's take a look. Very, very low hit point footman able to make it inside here. I believe it is this footman who is still taking damage inside the Zeppelin. But that footman is still pretty much in the clear. All right, let's. what are we going to have next? Circlet of Nobility stolen by the Archmage. And now we see more units trying to engage. The, uh, the Archers and the Huntresses now working together. Tree of Life clearing out this creep camp as the Tree of Life wants to set up an expansion. Back around over here, you can see low hit point footmen. All these units are going to get dropped. Low hit point footmen leaving first. And attempting to take down these moon wells. The moon wells are currently near max, and that's going to be bad news. Clearing out maximum moon well moon wells. And all of a sudden, 
Uh, though now in serious danger now trying to get some extra damage here not going to be able to do so it does clear out this moonwall are we going to see perhaps a fan of knives no we're not as you can see the footmen are still trying to run back okay let's take a look at this low hit point zeppelin is now trying to get away and it looks like it will be able to do exactly that the archer is unable to get there as the warden does have a clarity potion and a replenishment potion we're seeing that 48 over 50 supply as the tree of life is now attempting to entangle this gold mine Yumiko is in a very, very good spot right now, attempting to take down this gold mine. The gold mine will end up falling here, so the Wisp will not be able to jump inside there for quite some time. Back down over here, Yumiko taking advantage of his lead, economic, economic lead, now going into rifle casters. A very smart play to try to counteract the number of Huntresses that we're seeing. Anytime you can build a stronger counter unit, that is always very good as Yumiko still playing a very very conservative game here trying to make the game go longer without investing all too much all right the archers oh footman ended up getting dropped right in there what is happening as one archer will get taken down footman do have the fend a second archer gonna get taken down and yumiko going straight after that gold mine for a second time it looks like that gold mine will get taken out once more let's take a look at this tree of life the tree of life getting in some easy shots as the huntresses are now in position level for level three now on that archmage as the zeppelin is going to teleport all the way back home where is it down over here and now unload everything again the riflemen are upgraded one zero so is going to have a very difficult time those dryads are not going to be that effective against those riflemen and those riflemen with perhaps the extra long range is going to be far too much let's take a look at this uh, its range is i don't oh range is 600 i i believe that is upgraded or is that 450 to 600 i'll have to double check as we see now a goblin alchemist as the second hero by yumiko goblin alchemist is a very very strong tanky hero that does do a lot of damage can attack air even though it has a melee attack on ground but more importantly it has that healing spray and acid bomb both of those effects work extremely well with riflemen since they are able to focus down units oh so quickly back off over here 80 82 over 84 supply yumiko is looking to end this very very quickly now pushing forward with towers and here we go we are going to be starting this engagement now all right here are the towers two towers is all it's going to take no three towers as Yumiko wants to make sure that Tho has nothing at all. All that's going to happen is that this Tree of Life is going to get taken down. Meanwhile, the Huntresses and even a Magnetar Warrior joining in on this fight down over here. 77 over 84 supply compared to 50 over 50. And um, are these towers going to prevent much? It looks as though they are being repaired. No additional upgrades, though, as we are getting in some major upgrades on that Arcane Tower to try and keep it alive. All right, back over here. Healing Spray keeping all the units alive here as the Riflemen. Are they going to try and just scroll up Town Portal back? I do believe so. As you can see that all of these peasants are just doing some massive, massive repairing. That is a huge amount of repairing there. There is a Shadow Strike. Riflemen show up in time to take down a handful of units as Yumiko now perhaps going to retrain a couple of peasants and start mining once more all right these guard towers off over here going to finish off the, one of these ancients of war if not both of them meanwhile archmage sitting at level three and the alchemist sitting at level one this has been a perfect game of pressure and delay by yumiko you can see that the riflemen are just so strong the alchemist going to get to level two rune bracer is not going to be worth very much since we don't see any magic damage really um, except for maybe perhaps a shadow strike and that should be given to the archmage instead since the alchemist is already that strong ancient of war going to absorb a lot of the arrow damage as the guard towers now finally get taken down what a turn of events here all of a sudden this classic rifleman caster strategy being supplemented with goblin alchemist so strong there as an as a huntress now gets shot down ancients of war now trying to run back rifleman could easily turn around you can see the magnetar warrior how much damage it is taking blink in order to get away as we now see these ancients of war getting focused down far too quickly healing spray coming across the board is the warden at level five going to be able to do very much able to blink back and that is the gg though unable to really gain any traction in game one yes 
Yumiko was significantly behind in terms of hero level, a level 5 to a level 3, but it didn't really matter based on the number of units produced. 63 units compared to 48, army size of 83 compared to 50. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you guys enjoyed game 1. Please stay tuned for game number 2.